Hey there folks, Alex from East to West Hunts here. Today I'm going to do a little unboxing and a personal review on these Maven B6s. These are the 12 by 50s, okay? So a little bit about me. I'm a gear nut. I love optics. With my company, I do rent out optics, so it's nice to just have my hands on a bunch of different things. So these are things that I could use myself or I could definitely put them in the rental bucket. So, so that's a nice factor. However, with Maven, I've purchased quite a few things over the years from them and really, really like them. From rifle scopes, uh, rifle scopes to, uh, I got a, a Maven spotter that I just got. Um, I've had other binoculars from them in their B-series line. So, so I'm definitely a fan of them. However, I've been yearning for a 12 by 50, a good 12 by 50. And the reason for that is because one of my favorite binoculars is a Vortex Razor HD in that 12 by 50. And it has to do with giving you kind of the better value of things. You can buy them at a decent price point, got a great warranty. The weight is solid for what you get. And I, I just, I can appreciate the glass for what it's worth. Now, is it a Suaro like these guys? No, it's in a different league. But if you're looking for that higher mid-tier product, I think that these Mavens here compete at a little bit of a higher level. So let's start off with the box here. So over the years, Maven has done a great job of making this a premier feeling product, right? So they had these magnetic cases, they were hard cardboard. You really felt like you were getting something that was really heavy, really high quality. I don't think they took anything away from their optics, but I could tell you that they've changed the boxes. Now that could be based on cost, that could be over materials, who knows? But this is a little bit different. This is literally a cardboard, almost like an egg crate feeling. And you get this slider here from Maven. And literally this thing pops up here. Got a little catalog or whatever we want to call this. Yeah, it looks like a, a user guide. And you literally pop this off. Oh, and the standard Maven bag. Now, I really like this. Selfishly, for a couple of reasons. I'll share that in a minute. And then you just have your, you know, your strap to put around your neck, which personally I, I hate and would never use, but I guess you add that in there. Makes somebody feel better about what they get, right? All right, so why do I like this bag? Well, I'll tell you real quick. Let me let me grab one of my friends here to the right. Mr. Tripod. I love these bags because of these hooks on these tripods. I can fill these up with rocks or whatever I want. And I can keep my binocular in my bino harness and then use this to weigh down that tripod so that way it's not shaking. So here's the binocular. Very nice. Uh, a little up close and personal here. But that's really nice. Feels really great in my hand. Real good quality, smooth. If you do get eye cups and your little objective lens covers, which I like. Now one of the things with these, Maven sells like a clear glass protector for your objective lens and you literally could screw it in. So that's a, a nice add-in feature. And I can see it because it's got all the little lines in here for where you would screw it in. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what else can I say? These, I have played around with their with their eye cups. I like their eye cups. They click, they stay in place, but they're not like too hard in, in a sense, which is great. The focus wheel is really nice, really nice premium feeling. It's it. It does not move sloppy, that's for sure. You do have a, let's see here. Okay, so that is not a locking diopter. Yeah, it's not a locking diopter. So you do not have a locking diopter. I think that is a, that should be a better feature there. I'm not a fan of that. Not for what you pay for these. So these are, 1100 bucks retail, 
And again, that's direct to consumer. So if you compare it to, for example, a company like a Vortex or whatever else, you know, you're, you're paying a higher price because they have to sell it to a store and then that store marks it off. These guys, they sell it direct to consumer. So for what you get, you're paying a good price. Uh, again, one of the other things that, that I like about this and the reason I was intrigued finally to get these 12 by 50s is I'm weight conscious and I don't want to be lugging around, for example, a spotter and a 10 by 42 all the time. And if my 10 by 42 was super heavy, I would not like that. Okay. A 12 by 50 is awesome because it can kind of hit in two aspects, right? Could be just enough that I don't want a spotter or I don't want a set of 15s or 18s or whatever the case is. It could be just my only optic that I use for that trip or day or hunt or whatever you want to call it. So these, the weight of Mavens has been a concern for me. And the reason is, is because a lot of their really, really premier glass is coming from their B line, which have Abbey Koenig prisms, which makes them longer, a little bit of a different structure to it. And it's great glass. I remember taking the 9x45s on my hunt to Alaska for muskox, but I just thought they were heavy. And that part made me not a fan of it as much. These, for a 12x50, they're not an Abbey Koenig prism, okay? So they're not apples to apples. And that's why I would not compare this to a Razer UHD because that does have the Abbey Koenig prism. So that optic would be more compared to that higher end B line from Maven. This is a Schmidt, Schmidt Pecan prism, which gives it the ability to be a little bit more compact and it does save on the weight while having really, really good glass. So with that, this hops in at 30.7 ounces, which is, which is good. I'm big on, if I'm going to carry anything on my chest, I really don't want it to be more than like 32, 33 ounces. I've played around with enough optics to know that weight just, it's just enough. It kind of shakes, jiggles, it, anything more than that. It's just irritating to me. So for being 30 ounces for a 12 by 50, I'm a mega fan. Uh, the other thing, decent eye relief. You get 17 and a half millimeters for eye relief. And now, now eye relief, again, has to do with how close you can get to this and see the full view, right? So if you have to get really, really close and put your face on it, and then you start seeing kind of that black on the sides and all that. Uh, so that that's a perk. Now, again, I'm big on this. If you are putting these, these eye cups all the way up, you're missing out on a lot of light. And if you put them down, you are gaining a little bit of light in that view. But again, your face does not have to fully touch the eye cups. With the diopter, the, eye, the diopter is going to clear up any kind of viewpoints for you, depending on if you have differences in your eyes. So again, make sure you're doing your left, use the focus wheel, get to the right, use the diopter, and then you're going to have a very, very clear view. So overall, very impressed with these. They're very solid. They feel good. The armor is really, really nice. Again, I like the ability to add the objective lens cover to it. So again, it's not going to affect the view of this, but it does protect your glass. They do have a lifetime warranty on these, so that's fantastic. They're also, I'm just going to verify here, but these should be built in Japan. They are. They're made in Japan, so that's great too. That's a uh, better product than what you're going to get, for example, in a Chinese manufacturer, or it should be. Uh, and I, I know what plant these are made from, meaning, or what, what plant in Japan makes these, and it's comp comparable to a few other products out there. So that's good. Other thing that I like on these is you get this little ring here, which you can take out. I'll pop it out for you here. I'm big on adding a thread adapter to it. So it's got to have a quarter 20 thread. Now you can see here, I took that out. It's got that little hole in there. And that now allows you to put that stud in here so you can use it on your tripod, which you see right here is my outdoorsman's adapter. I'm a big fan of this because it just clicks in and you don't have to worry about it. You can move your tripod with you and you can leave your glass on it and your glass is not going anywhere. 
So if I want to go from ridge to ridge or whatever the case is, it's going to work for that. And I, I don't have to take everything off and put it back on and so on and so forth. So we're going to show you a view here of what it looks like through the B6. Now this is a squirrel at about 74 yards. I do have it on my B1 binocular adapter by MagView. And you can, see, you can see here, it's got good detail. Now again, I'm showing you the whole objective so you can see the black through it. But overall, good detail, good clarity. I think I could probably focus it better just from the focus wheel right here because I, I know the clarity can get better. And I'll show that to you in the next clip. Okay, in this one, you're gonna see that the focus is still a little blurry, but it's going to increase in clarity right here. And then you can see there's a little chipmunk in there. There he goes moving. At this point, you can really tell that these are high-end optics that are very detailed. They have a great sweet spot. You can see bugs. You can see the little chipmunk scratching himself. I can see the colors, the details on its stripes. And if you really look at the entire picture here, you're going to notice that it's pretty clear. I mean, there's there's a little bit of blurring on the most outer edges, but I'm really trying to give you as true of a depiction of what you're going to be able to see here, and it's darn impressive. Now here we can see the little chipmunk still in the undercover of the trees there, and he's, he's slowly getting to jump behind that trunk there. I think that yeah, there he goes, there he goes, right behind that tree. And in just a little bit, we're gonna see him pop back out. Let's see. Come on, little buddy. I know you're there. I know you're there. There he goes. All right, so, so this right here proves my point on when you're glassing, you want clarity, but you want it to be as still as possible because you wanna catch that movement. And then you can really jump into the details of things. So with proper glassing techniques and great glass, it's just such a win-win combination. And I really feel like these B6s are, are bringing that to life right here. And this little chipmunk proves it. All right, folks, that's all she wrote on this review on these Maven B6 12x50s. I did add links down below in the comments or description. So please take a look at them. I highly, highly believe that these are a premier optic that really punches above its price point and you are going to enjoy them. With that said, please subscribe to the channel. We're going to continue adding more and more content. I have gear reviews. I have other products I'll be adding to the channel for sure. On top of, we're going to at some point video and release some hunts. So I want you to be a part of all that and join us on the journey that we have. But in the meantime, Please stick around, check out the other videos that we're posting or check out the channel. Make sure you comment or like the page or the video. And until next time, remember to scout, hunt, and repeat. Thanks.